Hello everyone and welcome to October's edition of Q&A. So all these questions were asked by the viewers either on Twitch or on Discord and we're going to go and answer them all today. So there's 21 questions. Uh, some of the questions are really tough to answer. I uh, I think I've got to think of something really quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested to see my answers because I don't look at the questions before seeing them. Obviously, I write them down, but I don't think of the answers. So let's go. So the first question is, how many channel points does this cost? Now, this was just a mess around because I told them uh, they could just have a free question if they watched a YouTube video. So if you're watching right now, hit me up with a question down below. You get a free question just for watching this video. So on Twitch, there is a channel point reward. It costs 100 channel points to ask a question for this Q&A. Um, but it is free if you comment down below a question of your choice. Best present ever received. See, this is actually a really tough question because there's so many, so many good presents that I've received in the past. Um, for example, my car, you know, that was a present for my 18th birthday. I just passed my test three days after I, my birthday um, and I got myself a car. Um, so I, th I think my car, because it's been with me for now for five years, Max the Mazda. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be my car. Uh, but there are some very close things. And Beth will probably kill me that I didn't pick any of her presents. But <laughs> I'll deal with that later. Weirdest dream you had at one night? I've had weird dreams. But I don't know if people remember them very well. I know, I know Beth remembers her dreams vividly. I don't remember dreaming most nights. Um, so I, I, I can't really picture any of my dreams because if I do remember them, I forget them the next day. Like, I, I guess the weirdest dream I've had that I remember is probably getting chased by a clown and then tripping up and then waking up because I, I don't know what it is. If you fall over in your sleep, you wake up. I, I, I don't know if there's a scientific reason behind waking up if you fall over but yeah that might be my weirdest dream what's the worst gift ever received so this gift isn't necessarily bad but it was something i already had so i think i've got to say that's the worst one it was a nice gesture because they knew i liked scooby-doo when i was little but it was a movie that I already had and obviously it was on my shelf so when I got it I was like I've already got this my mom was like shut up shut up shut up uh because obviously very uh what's the word they very considerate like they, they just bought you a gift and you know you're just shouting out oh I've got this one already yeah I must be a right idiot so uh yeah I said thank you but yeah just because I already had it I think that's the worst gift what is your favorite season and why? Uh, either spring or autumn uh, or fall if you're from America. I think spring because it's it slowly but surely gets warmer. Whereas in autumn, obviously my birthday is in it, but it gets colder. So I think spring because it, it's close to summer. Um... And it's just always nice in spring. F1 starts up again. Uh, football is on. You know, life is good. Life is good. What do you believe happens when you die? This is an amazing question. I always had thoughts about this when I was younger. And I always used to think when I die, I just like, I just watch my life back. A, like a kill cam let's say like on call of duty but i watch all my moments back and i can see exactly what happened and then the consequences of my actions so it's a bit like until dawn in real life um so i can see if i just like i don't know i live next door not this place what actions that like 
what are the consequences of living in this place other than that place? I don't know, it's something small, like, if, again, throw my pen up in the air. If I didn't do that, what would have happened in the next 10 seconds? Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Favorite childhood show? So, I have many childhood shows that I used to watch. Um, like, Scooby-Doo was one of them. Um, I think Bob the Builder was another one. Thomas the Tank Engine. My name's Thomas. I had to watch that. Um, Tom and Jerry. Oh my goodness. I would love to watch the whole of Tom and Jerry again. Um, so, it's either Tom and Jerry or Drake and Josh. Like, I used to love that show. Hug me, brother. Like, I don't know why, but that show was just amazing. So, one of them. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Because it, it, it was more of a childhood show. Um, I was younger at the time when I was watching that. And I just used to laugh all the time. It's like Looney Tunes as well. Like, I used to just love watching them. And it was so much fun. So, I think definitely Tom and Jerry. If you could create a sport, what would it be? Now, I don't normally announce who asks these questions, but this person caused murder. Because uh, I, I, uh, all sports have been created, right? Like, I don't know of any other sport that could be created. Um, like, I was, I've actually, this is the only question, I know I said at the start that I don't look at the questions. This is the only question that I've read and read and read, and I still don't know what answer for. So, I guess I could just call, like, we used to play a sport in school, and, you know, obviously, it's not worldwide, so I can claim it as my own, okay? And, uh, you play with a ball, like a football. Be in like a sport hall, and you'll be at one side of the wall, one side of the wall. You have half the people on against the wall, half the people playing, and your goal is to head the ball, throw the ball, head the ball. If it hits the wall close to the people, it is two points. If it hits high up in the sky, it's one point. And there's always a basketball hoop. If you get it into that or hit the board, it's five points. So I used to always love that game because I would always like be heading the ball because I was pretty tall and I'll be able to save things because you, if you're on the wall, you can't move past a certain point. So yeah, so I think hand to head ball. That's what we used to call it. And it was amazing. Which cat is your favorite? I'm going to just highlight evil question here. That is so bad. We've had cats for now three months now. and. The fact that you asked this is horrible. They're both my favorite. But you just want an answer. You, you just don't just want me to say both. So I think I've got to say Skittles because she's more affectionate. I love Pip because he plays more. Um, but he swipes me <laughs> and he hurts. So I think Skittles, just for the fact that she's more affectionate. She comes up close for attention. Uh, whereas Pip is more, he's still anxious. And I don't put that you know, against him. But I think as an emotional support cat, Skittles is definitely helpful. Favorite multiplayer game? So if anyone's on my Twitch, I started my Twitch account playing Call of Duty. And speaking of which, the new one just came out, Modern Warfare 2. I will be posting stuff on my YouTube channel from Modern Warfare 2. I've been sniping, trying to get my skill-based matchmaking down, and uh, I've been having a great time with it. So Expect some Call of Duty content on my YouTube channel. So yeah, Call of Duty is my favorite multiplayer game. Speaking of another multiplayer game, best way to gain RP in Apex. Best way to gain RP in Apex? I mean, I'm not the best at Apex. I played it for like the start, the last season, the new season has just came out. Uh, the best way to gain RP, obviously kills, um, even assists, they count now. And just try to survive to the end. Like, if you get three to four kills and your teammate's down, just, just stay to the end. Just try and survive to the end. You get a much higher multiplier uh, for staying alive at the end than pushing someone and dying. So, if you're playing for the RP, 
and you're not playing for like just all out rank mode and just running into people, then hide. Just play the rat gameplay. It's fine. No one will judge you. <laughs> Thoughts on Red Bull's penalty? Okay, so this is actually a big question. People have been asking me a lot about this and they really keyed on my answer. The Red Bull's penalty was $7 million and 10% less aero win time. Is that enough? Absolutely not. It, it's not. It's literally a slap on the wrist for Red Bull. Maybe the aero time is, you know, is a lot for how much they broke the rules. But they broke the rules, right? Um, I don't think they should have got points penalty. That's just my opinion. But there's so many other ways to punish them. Like, I heard a suggestion of, instead of them getting the first uh, garage, put them last. They broke the rules, put them in the last garage, then they have to go the furthest in the, like, in the pit lane. Being first, like, they can just come in and out. There's no one in the way. So I think as much as the fine, the 10%, because it was a tax thing, 1.4 million, they would have still went over by 400k. The 10% I think is okay, but there's so many smaller things that they could have punished, like the pit lane, they could have punished how much they could have spent next season. Like, take the money that they overspent, take it off next year's, just so it's fair, right? Because they've overspent, sure, they've got a 7 mil penalty, but that doesn't affect them next year. It doesn't affect them this year. It's just on top of the cost cap. So, yeah, as much as I'm a Red Bull fan, this doesn't push people away. And I, I know it's the first season, so they're a bit lenient, but... If Mercedes break it on purpose next year, they'll get a high one because they broke it on purpose. But, like, sh I think they should have done more to prevent it in the future. Even 400k is still breaking it. Okay, so I was just editing uh, my answer to this. And I forgot one real big part of my answer. Um, and something that really bothers me. So, as soon as it was announced that Red Bull had overspent and there was, you know, rumours about it, and they go to the FIA, and they go, these are the possible penalties that Red Bull could receive. That's a load of rubbish, okay? I'm, I'm just saying it now. The possible penalties. What? I, I, it just amazes me. So, how can it be possible... For these things to happen. But yet. Red Bull only got this amount. Like. The FIA should have a. If you break the rules. This is what you get. It's not possible that you might receive this. This is it. It's pathetic. They really need to change it. Because if a team breaks it. Then it's just look at the draw. If they're feeling nice or not. Let's be honest. And the fact that the FIA had to propose the penalty to Red Bull and Red Bull had to say on the penalty is, again, ridiculous. Give them the penalty. They shouldn't be allowed to accept it or deny it. They broke the rules, for crying out loud. So th th that really annoyed me, the fact that they were able to, like, argue the penalty. Like, you broke the rules. It shouldn't be a two-way street. Sure, the talking for the finding out how much they overspent, sure, have that as a two-way. But as soon as you know they broke the rules, it should be a one-way from the FIA to Red Bull or whatever constructor saying, this is your penalty, no question asked. And I, I, I think that just bothers me because obviously people think they got away with murder. I think they got away with it a little bit. I don't think it should have, again, changed the result of the 2021 season. Um, but they should be punished into like 2023, 2024 um, for overspending to reduce the likelihood of doing it again and for any other constructors to do it in the future. What superpower would you have? Uh... Superpower. Superpower. What would it be? Um. I I don't know. 
uh, maybe invincibility. <laughs> um, maybe I wouldn't have super strength because I wouldn't use super strength. Invisible, mm, then no one would see me. I'm I'll be more invisible than I am today. Um, such. Um. So yeah, either have healing powers or invincible. Maybe, yeah. We'll get we'll go for healing powers. Healing powers, so that I can heal the people around me. Pancakes or waffles? I'm gonna go pancakes. We have them every year for Pancake Day, Trove Tuesday. Um, it happens every single February. So gonna go pancakes. I absolutely love pancakes. I only had them the other day as well. They're, they're amazing. They're amazing. If you've never had pancakes. Please do. Try it. Try it. Favorite Disney movie. Now, my favorite Disney movie is Moana. Uh, I just love the songs. I love the storyline. Um, again, yeah. It's just, it's just a great film. Um, so, yeah. I think Moana is definitely my favorite Disney movie. Um, and then you've got, like, the Star Wars films. And now you've got the old Disney movies. But I think Moana, I, I could watch that a lot. So, yeah, definitely Moana. Top five games ever played. Uh, I hate this question. Uh, just because it's it's a difficult one to answer the top of my head. Um, and I know I said my favorite multiplayer game is Call of Duty. But I don't think top five games, I don't think it's in there. Um, for me, if in my top five, it has to be single player. Uh, a game that you could just lose yourself in. So, in no particular order, Red Dead Redemption 2, The Witcher 3, Breath of the Wild, The Last of Us 1, not not 2, not 2, not, not two at all. And I'm trying to think of a game, maybe one of the Spider-Mans, like maybe Spider-Man 1, like that was just so much fun. You could just swing around, do all the little activities. I played so many hours on that game. So yeah. Witcher 3. Red Dead Redemption 2. Breath of the Wild. The Last of Us. And Spider-Man. Either one. They were both amazing. Can I keep spending my channel points on Twitch? Of course. Of course. <laughs> so I. Again. I told them to spend. Not spend their channel points. And go and ask a question. Here in the YouTube chat. For watching this video. If you're watching. And you haven't commented. A question. Do it now. Do it now. Pause the video. Ask a question. And it will be included in the next Q&A at the start of November. Well, end of November. Start of December. What is the most expensive purchase you've ever made? The most expensive purchase I've ever made is probably my PC. Uh, my PC was uh, quite expensive. Um, but obviously it was an investment to do what I love as a hobby. So streaming on Twitch, doing YouTube on the side as well, which I've only just started getting fully into with my like YouTube shorts and stuff. So yeah, it's definitely my PC and was it worth it? 100%. I've interacted with so many more people with my PC and the stream quality has just improved massively. And it helps that I put my bit rate on 6,000 and it wasn't on 2,500 like it was for over a year. So I messed up pretty big. And that's why my quality is a lot better now than it used to be. So yeah, PC. Favorite horror slash scary game to play? So I've played a lot of the Resident Evil games. Uh, I think my favorite horror game is either Resident Evil 2 or Resident Evil 4. They were both amazing games and the both games that I forgot to highlight on Twitch. So I have to replay them so that I have my uh, playthrough as a uh, as a video. So I do need to replay them. I do need to play Claire's story on Resident Evil 2 as well. So yeah, Resident Evil series, definitely. What's the most useless talent you have? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't think I have talents. I'm not the type of person to go, oh yeah, I'm so talented uh, at this. Uh, and I don't know if I can do anything like like a party trick. I yeah. Um, so I don't think I can answer this question. I guess sleep is useless because I always wake up tired. So I guess 
I guess sleeping a lot. <laughs> what surprised you the most about being a cat owner? So I think the most surprising thing about being a cat owner is just how much I've became a cat person. Um, because I was always a, like, people know this either, you're either a dog person or a cat person, like most of the time, or you could be both. But like growing up, I was always a dog person because a cat swiped me. <laughs> and I've, I was always scared of cats. Uh, but I think living here, and there's a lot of cats that are outside, and some of them are really affectionate. They, they come up to you, and then if you stroke them, they're proper like graze against you and stuff like that. So I became a cat person like from that. And then having cats itself, just watching them do their thing, like run around, like I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Sometimes the the idiots and. You know, I that what makes them cats, right? And I absolutely adore them. Um, like watching Pip try and chase after a laser, and he's just like doing circles around himself. It's brilliant. And we only got him a laser because he gets bored really easily, and he, you can hear him meow constantly if you're not playing with him. So a laser is really easy. So I could be doing like work, just trying to laser behind me, and yeah, he's he's playing. I'm working. And uh, problem solved. And everyone, that is the end of my Q&A. I hope you enjoyed. Again, feel free to leave any questions in the YouTube. Um, when I come back from my Twitch break, feel free to ask any questions in the channel points. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope my answers were good and far. I, uh, I noticed this one. Even though we had more questions, it lasted less time. I think I was quick with my answers, so I think that's that's pretty good. So, uh, as always, see you in my next video. Goodbye.